Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy for the Hockey Nation our show. Today, episode number 70. Yes, he did it. He traded Jeff Petrie to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're going to talk about Rem Pitlick, new signature, and so much more about this trade. So don't go nowhere. But before we start, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show. Below this video, tell me what you think about the episode number 70. And let's dive in. Here we go. Episode 70. Montreal trade Jeff Petrie. Ram Pitlick signed with the Montreal again. Can use team looking more the way he wanted. Philip Mazar, a little clip about him at the development camp and at the end of the episode that we're going to talk about the NHL news around the league. Let's talk about, guys, the Jeff Petrie trade. But first, it went Rand Poland, got trade to the Pittsburgh Penguins, and return, the Montreal got Mike Madison and a four-round pick 2023. What do you have to pay attention on this one? Jeff Petrie asked for the Montreal Canadian for a trade. We know is kind of disagreement with Dominic Charm a couple of months ago, and he still requests to, to get trade and USA team for his family. He has four kids, and for the COVID problem he, last year, he had to stay alone. His family was in Michigan, and all around this, he preferred to play in uh, any team in USA. On the flip side, Mike Madison, born in Montreal, removed his clothes on his contract to play for the Montreal Canadiens. So he's a desire, one, to be in Montreal Canadiens and play for the Abs. Petrie been with the, with the Montreal Canadiens for over eight years with the Abs. He played over 508 games with 248 points and 70 gold with the Montreal Canadiens. Honestly, he was a great second pairing defenseman. Played very well for the last couple of years with Joel and Munson. He was been behind Shea Weber as a second pairing defenser. Honestly, the Montreal Canadiens got him from the Edmonton Oilers. And then he got him. They really developed Petri as a solid defense in the NHL. Matter of fact, he got a contract of 6.225 by the Montreal Canadien. Uh, obviously, last year, he you know his difficulties. Uh, only 27.1 of his worst season in the last six years could really relate to Dominic Charm. For me, it's a one reason. But I will say to you, the second reason for Jeff Petrie did not do well is the family concern, the COVID-19, until they got a new management, sit with Jeff, Talk to him, explain everything like that, and then you have a new coach, Martin Saint Louis. Petrie became the Petrie we knew the last five, six years with the Montreal Canadian. Now, who is Mike Madison? He is now 28 years old, born in Montreal, played major AAA with Lac Saint Louis. He was drafted by the Florida Panthers, uh, first round at 21 overall pick in 2012. He's a left defenseman, seven years in the NHL. He played for the Leather Panthers for five years before he got traded and played the last two years with the Pittsburgh Penguins. During those years in NHL, seven goals, 10 goals, eight goals, eight goals, and five goals he got. He was playing only 44 games that year. 11 goals last season with the Pittsburgh. That's what he did. Unfortunately, he's not a guy who contribute a lot on the passing. His best season, it was last year with 20 pass. So that gives you an idea. He's averaged about 27 points per year with 10 goals and 17 assists. Never been used on a special team. You have to go all the way at his second year in the uh, NHL uh, where he um, got six points of his 27 on power play. He's always been uh, behind the tank in Florida, so he never, uh, in uh, Pittsburgh, I apologize, never been used, uh, but he was a second good pairing defense with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Play an average of 18 to 19 minutes since his NHL he can become a good, solid second pairing defense for the Montreal Canadiens. Let's talk about Rand Pullen. Pullen is still young, 23 years old. 
drafted first round by the Montreal Canadiens, 25th overall pick in 2017. Uh, when I said to him in mistake, I will give you a little bit of information after that. Poland played for the NCHA St. Cloud. So what is NCAHC? It's another division in the NCAA. He joined the college NCAA after he finished his high school. Never go through the USHL. So it's rare a player at 18 years old play college. He reached or joined his brother for the team over there. And I think for me... The Montreal Canadiens did not make enough searching about him because you have other players after that. It's easy talking this way. But I think when you pick or draft, you have to go do your your homework better. If you knew this, NCHC guy is a player, example like Boston College, for me, or Michigan, that's another team. I think they make a mistake by get Poland at this 25th. After that, you get Tovonen and um, Robinson for the Dallas. It's another one came after Poland. But I don't want to make Poland look bad here. But I just want to say that I think Temin, his mistake, he focused too much sometime on NCAA at young age. He did not look more the CHL. And for me, that's one thing i always going to remember about Timmins and Bergevin together. Poland is a center, 6'2", speed average, been in the NHL only th- uh, three years. Bottom six, play a little bit on PK. He needs development. He's only 23. I think he needs to improve his power skating. It's not a bad physically. Good pop protection. Very smart. He can score. Scored nine goals last year. And But unfortunately for the Montreal Canadian, he became fifth on the depth chart. And I think that's another reason why the Montreal let him go. Now, I'm sure Pittsburgh requests to get him with P3. But because he was number 5th in the chart, Montreal let him go. Why I like the trade. I don't say they win the trade. I don't say they lose the trade. What I like the trade. The advantage. Eight years younger. P3 versus Madison. They save $6 million for the next three years. $2 million per year. Compare the contract of Petri and Poland. That gave them more space on the salary cap. That's given them to chance to sign or resign Rem Pitlick at $1.1 million. We're we'll going to talk about him the next couple of minutes. The disadvantage of this trade for me, they lost a right defenseman where they don't have. They lost a player on the power play as the defenseman like Petri. Madison never had that opportunity yet. They lost another defenseman and PK on short and dead. Medicine is not related a lot on special teams since he played in NHL. So they are, for me, now they lost, of course, Poland at 23 years old, younger center. But they have a choice. They get Pit League back in the lineup. So for me, it's not like a disadvantage, Poland versus Pit League. Now they have a connection Madison can use. First, they are from the west side of Montreal. Then he was his client can use when he was an agent for Quatrep. So that came everything together. He played in Boston College, so he played in the backyards of the youth. And finally, they know he know the person, so he know he's going to be a great asset for the Montreal and the locker room, and he's going to teach him the youngest one. So all together, I really believe use he was targeting Madison. Let's move on for the next is Rampit Lick. Resigned with a Montreal Canadian, a two years contract at $1.1 million per year. Pit Lick played last season, 66 game in NHL with the, with the Montreal and the Minnesota. 15 goals, 22 assists, and 37 points. With Montreal, a 46 game, he has 9 goals, 17 assists for 26 points. Point. It was claimed off waiver from the Minnesota Wild. What we like from him for me is a speed, his full checking, his special team role, more on the PK, but he played at some point on power play. In my eyes, he's still a, part, a bottom six, more as a third line. Finally, if you think about this, he took the role of the Arturi Likonen for the Montreal Canadiens. Let's move on to the next youth team. Listen, look what they left and can use with Gut Hire and Generate. Shea Weber, Chariot, Tufoli, Kulak, Romanov, Likonen, Poden, Petri. 27 million out of the Surrey Cup, guys. So that's pretty good overall. I believe now can use have a couple indulgable for the Montreal. 
Nick Zuski, Cole Caulfield, Jeff Sakaski, and a first round pick 2023. I think they are the four asset Montois will never trade in the future. Keenan Cooley could be another one. If there's a right deal, maybe he will let him go. But or otherwise, this they are the one I don't think Montreal will go to trade for right now. Let's move on to the next one. Development Cam Philippe Mazar, a winger, 5'10, 172, draft by the Montreal Canadian, 26 overall pick in 2022. Great skater, great hands, great vision. I like this kid. He's small, but I love his speed. Here we go, guy. Here we go, guy. This is a short video of Mezar during the development camp. Here, a clip of Philip Mezar at the development camp last week. Uh, he wore number 48. You can see the speed of Mezar. Good hands, have a good um, vision. You can see his teammate. He's going to recover the puck right there. And then you're going to see the guy in front of the net. Boom. Great pass. South pass. Every time that. Good stick. A good stick. Just give you an idea a little bit about Philip Mazar, guy. Just an amazing great move right there in front of Chill Home. I like the, the undrafted uh, Chill Home. Some, someone we have to pay attention. Another great pass to the vision of Mazar. See how he controlled the puck right there? His edge work is excellent. The great pass in front of the net. This is Philip Mazar, drafted round one, 26 overall pick. I like is the way he has a great vision, great hands, skate well. You can see during this video. I just want to share a, a clip of what he did during the development camp for the Absolute News. Finally, we have the NHL news today. The Pittsburgh was not, did only one trade yesterday, they did two. Because they trade with the New Jersey Devils. They got from the Devils Ty Smith, 22 years old, a third round pick 2023 next year. In return, they send the 24, 25 years old right defenseman John Marino to the Devils. Uh, pretty even. A little bit concerned why Pittsburgh did it. If they develop Smith like they did with Madison, I think overall it would be pretty good for the Pittsburgh. And the one thing I would say to you, honestly, for this, for the Pittsburgh, is drop some salary cap. Get Jeff Petrie. Uh, Montreal signed Rent Pitlick, $1.1 million. We just talked about him. The Winnipeg Jet did the same thing. Two years contract at eight fifty dollars per year at Jensen Arkins, a bottom six for the Winnipeg Jet. And we still have uh, players here on the UFA waiting for the contract. Kadri, Niederreader, Kessel, Klemberg, Rodriguez, Mate, Enan, Milano, Estelle. They are the most player and the UFA again still with no contract. Here we go, guys. Episode number 70 is over. We talk about Jeff Petrie. We talk about Rand Poland, Rand Pit Lake. Can use hopefully to enjoy it. But before we leave, we want to remind you don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show and below this video. Please leave me your comments. And finally, yes, you. You have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody. <laughs>